Now, dear all, welcome to home learning classes. Today we have discussion about another amplitude modulation technique that is known as double segment full carrier or amplitude modulation technique. As for a suppressed carrier modulation technique, the major drawbacks is that due to implementation of synchronous detector at the receiver end, the receiver becomes expensive and complex. So with a provision to make receiver simple and cost effective, a large carrier or full carrier power along with sideband is transmitted as a modulated signal. So in modulated signal we have lower sideband, upper sideband and as well as our full carrier and the transmission of this modulated signal is achieved by a amplitude modulation scheme which is known as double sideband full carrier or by default it is known as amplitude modulation technique. So in amplitude modulation technique the amplitude of the carrier wave is varied according to instantaneous value of modulating signal and a full carrier wave is transmitted along with sideband as modulated signal. So as per mathematical representation we have modulating signal that is denoted as MT in frequency domain it can be capital M omega or M. Now the carrier signal CT it can be your AC cos omega CT or AC cos 2 pi epsilon with a frequency domain representation is S. Now we have amplitude modulated signal that is equivalent to AC bracket start 1 plus KA into MT that is modulated signal bracket close into cos omega CT means in that we have two signal. The one signal is corresponding to our full carrier or large carrier that is AC cos omega CT and the another signal that is AC into KA into MT into cos omega CT that is corresponding to our sideband signal. So the sideband signal plus carrier signal become modulated and in this the Ka is your amplitude sensitivity factor and that is used at the receiver. The Ka is very important parameter that is utilized at the envelope detector at the receiver end for proper recovery of envelope for getting our estimate of modulating signal. So very important you have to take the Ka in your modulating signal. Now as per the block diagram we have modulating signal, we have carrier signal and by utilizing the amplitude modulator we get the output that is amplitude modulated signal or it can be also known as double sideband full carrier modulated signal. Here we have pan domain and frequency domain representation as per the mathematical representation. In this the modulating signal is there and the modulating signal contains F is the maximum operating frequency or it can be restricted up to B hertz band. Now we have the carrier signal. In the carrier signal that is AC goes to 5 CT and it have its frequency domain that have two impulse corresponding to plus minus F. Now as per our modulated signal representation, we consider two cases. The first case in which the amplitude Ka into MT is less than the amplitude of carrier that is AC. And in second case we consider in which the amplitude Ka into MT is equivalent to amplitude of the carrier. Now as per observation of time domain and frequency domain representation, we found that 
the amfc signal contains the sum and difference of carrier and modulating signal frequency the second the very important observation that the carrier signal frequency is present in the modulated spectrum so here there is dark line at fc or minus fc the third point of observation is that in modulated spectrum we obtain the upper side as well as lower side means the modulating signal is present twice in the modulated spectrum corresponding to upper side band as well as corresponding to lower side band. So, with the presence of side band signal as well as the carrier signal, this modulation technique is known as double side band full carry and by default it is known as amplitude modulation technique. So, for your general awareness, if there is AM modulation technique is there, then you consider this DSP full carrier modulation technique. Another observation is that when no modulating signal is applied, then the modulated AM signal waveform is simply unmodulated carrier wave signal. Another point we have observed that the bandwidth of the AM signal is equivalent to 2 times of bandwidth of modulating signal.